I'm Michelle from Tarmachi Paper Blooms. Welcome back to part two of the Crepe Paper Peony tutorial. If you haven't already seen part one of the tutorial, make sure that you go and watch that first. I'll pop that up on the screen now uh, and then come back and watch part two. Today we're going to be adding the rest of the petals to our flowers and just making the full bloom. Tomorrow we will finish the details, adding calyxes and leaves to complete the flower. So you want to start by cutting out your template. I'm going to be using option two of petal B and then I'm folding my paper over into four and cutting around the template. When you're cutting your petals, make sure that you're paying attention to the grain lines on the paper, so they should run top to bottom. And you'll see I've marked three little lines on each of the templates, so just make sure that they line up with the grain lines on the paper. So once you've cut all your petals, you should have 15 in total for petal B. And then we're just gonna go back in and start curling those in the same way as before. So because I'm using the heart-shaped ones, I'm starting at the top of each petal, making sure that they bend over and curl into the flower. And then I work my way down, stretching those, and I also start to twist them out a little bit as well. So that just helps to give a little bit more shape to the petal. You might find that the centre part of the petal gets a little bit frayed, so you can just go back in and neaten that up with scissors. And then you're just going to work your way through all the petals, just curling them slightly different each time, try and get a bit of variety in there. You'll notice that some of the petals are slightly larger on one side than the other. So if you want to vary them up a little bit, you can just flip them over and curl them the opposite direction. And then you're going to go in and add your glue to all the petals, just exactly the same as we did before. So this time I'm adding glue to about halfway up the petal, maybe slightly under halfway. And then you just want to make sure you glue them all in one batch so that they go tacky before you attach them to the flower. Okay, so now we're ready to attach them onto the bloom that we started yesterday. So I'm gonna do exactly the same thing as before. You want to make sure that you're filling in any gaps rather than trying to be symmetrical. And also make sure that you overlap the very top of the petal with the top of the ones that are already there. So ideally add a few millimeters each time so that it starts to get bigger and bigger. You don't want to put any lower than the existing petals, otherwise they won't show up. You might find that by focusing on the position of the top of the petal, making sure that's right, that the very bottom of it is actually shorter than some of the existing petals. That's totally fine because that's going to get covered up anyway. It's more important to make sure the top of the petal is in the right place. And then as you're working, just make sure that you're constantly checking from the top of the flower to make sure you're happy with the shape. And remember to look at it as you will when it's finished rather than just from the bottom. Don't worry if you have any pieces which stick out and start to curl down like these. They're totally fine because when you put the next petal over them, it will just make that go a little bit wider and give the flower a bit more width to it. Another good technique you can try as you're working is to fluff around the outside of the flower like I'm doing now. And that just helps to make sure you've got the right shape. So you can just work your way around and make sure that the flower is staying kind of the same size all the way around. And then I also like to fluff out my petals as I work too. And you can be quite heavy handed with that, don't worry too much about the petals. And then I'm just going to pop that into a bud vase while it dries. Next you want to cut out petal C from the template, again I'm using option 2. And then next you need to cut out all of your petals using template C. If you do struggle cutting out more than a few petals at a time, 
you really don't need to worry about folding over the paper like this. I've just been doing this for a long time, so I've got better at doing it that way. But if you want to start with, you can focus on even just folding it over the once or even just using a single sheet of paper. So once you have all of the C petals cut out, then you want to go ahead and curl them. This is the time to really focus on curling them under and out as well to get some different shapes because these are the outside petals. So you can see I'm taking a little bit more time with these and making sure that they've got a lot of curl in them. You want to do this with all of the petals except for three and I'll show you why in a minute. Okay, so I've kept my last three petals, and what we're gonna do is the same technique, but just slightly different. So first of all, take one side and curl that in exactly the same way as you have, and then just flip the petal over and curl the other side towards you. So you'll end up with one side of the petal curled towards you and one side curled away. And again, if you end up with any weird shapes or corners, just trim those off with the scissors. And then put those special three petals to one side and you want to go back in and glue all of the other petals now. You'll see I'm using quite a bit more glue on these than I have on the previous ones. That's mainly just because these are so big so you need a lot more glue. So I'm going quite far up here, almost as far as the cut in the middle, so almost like the V shape. And then I'm attaching them just the same way as before. And then just go around and check you're happy with the shape, fluff out the petals a little bit if you need to. And then we're going to add our last three petals, the ones that were curled in both directions. So I'm going to put a lot of glue on these because I want them to be stuck right almost to the top. So I'm going to go up as high as the split in the middle of the petal, make sure I've got plenty of glue on there. And then I'm going to take my flower, just make sure I'm happy with it all before I proceed. And then I'm going to work from the bottom of this. And I want to stick my petal on so that the bit that curls down actually sticks out. And that just makes it look like the petal started to curl away, which makes it look more natural. And then when it's time to add the second one, just rotate the flower around about a third and then you can position that roughly in place. It doesn't need to be exactly a third, just so that it, they're not all in one area. And 
And then again with the last one, you just want to find a space, ideally a gap on the flower, that's about halfway between the other two. And there you go. So that's all of the petals added. We'll go in and add the rest of the details tomorrow. But you can see this is quite a big flower. So if you actually wanted something smaller, you can do exactly the same techniques, just add less petals. Okay, so that's it for part two. Tomorrow we will finish off all of the details of our flower, the calyxes, adding leaves, and just completing it all ready so that you can display it in your home. If you have any questions about everything we've done today or yesterday, then drop those in the comments box below and I'll do my best to help. Make sure that you're subscribed so that you know when part three goes live tomorrow. And it would be great if you like this video too. Tell much for being here to celebrate life special moments with me.